Thank you, Christy. Well, it started as a top secret project during World War II, and Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab still does a lot of classified work. Alex Dimitri reports today APL celebrates its 75th birthday. On March 10, 1942, the Applied Physics Lab is born. A top secret housed in an empty automotive garage in Silver Spring. APL's mission, find some way of shooting down Japanese kamikaze planes before they crash into Navy ships. The result was the radio proximity fuse, which exploded an artillery round shrapnel into a plane without requiring a direct hit. It turned the tide in the Pacific and allowed the ships to then hold the kamikaze threat at bay. Now, 75 years old, Hopkins Applied Physics Lab employs 5,000 people at its Howard County campus. A lot of them showed up to celebrate its birthday and show off some of what it's accomplished, like finding new ways to detect and fight off cyber attacks. Allow the cyber defenders to kind of have eyes into the cyberspace. APL also explores real space. It took 25 years to design, build, and fly the New Horizons spacecraft to Pluto. If you want immediate gratification, the space business is not for you. If you want to do something that's absolutely amazing, something that can never have been done before by mankind, it is for you. Not every project at APL deals with defense or space exploration. Johnny Matheny lost most of his arm to cancer. He is working with an APL team which uses sensors to detect signals from his brain to his arm's upper muscles, which in turn control a robotic arm and hand. What he thinks the robotic extension does. Once perfected, amputees... You got ways of going back, right back to the job you had before. And you can go back to, to, you know, taking care of your family again. Shaking hands with the future is what APL is all about. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. That's fantastic. Along with radar and the atomic bomb, APL's radio proximity fuse are considered the military's three greatest inventions of World War II.